The display of the UT139C is quite nice, but the timeout of the backlight is short for my taste. Luckily, Gary Wong mentioned the way how to extend that backlight timeout on the UT139C and other meters that use the same IC. The default timeout is 15 seconds and all it takes to change that is programming a one byte on the 24CO2BE from of the meter. Doing that is quite easy because there's a place for a pin header on the PCB and all the pins are labeled on the silk screen. Connect the VDD to 3.3 volts, WP to ground when writing, SCL to SCL, SDA to SDA like in any I2C connection and V- to ground. There are two calibration pins which shouldn't be connected to anything. There's also a reset testpad above the fuse and that should be connected to the ground so the main IC won't be driving the SCL and SDA pins. The programming happens just like with any EEPROM. The address is 5O and the values that are going to be modified are on the FC, that's the backlight timeout address. The value is the actual timeout in seconds. Depending on your software, you might be able to give that in decimal. So no need to convert that to anything. And for the auto power off, the address is FB and the value is in minutes. I'm quite happy with the default auto power off delay, so I'm not going to change that. I connected my i 2 c programmer with the Poco pins, so I don't need to solder anything to the PCB of my multimeter. After starting the programming, it just takes a second to program that one value. Very simple and quick process. While I'm testing that the hack actually works, please consider hitting the like button. Check out my other videos if you haven't already done that, and maybe subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. I'll put links to the Gary Wong's website and that video in the description, so please check those out as well. And like you can see, we are well past the default 15 second timeout, and the backlight is still on, so this seems to work perfectly.